Hello and welcome to Frank's School. Boots and I are ready. We're going back to German. I've got one or two more today and maybe just tomorrow uh, to finish this part of, uh, of trying to get you to love German. All right, uh, uh, Heidi. Heidi suddenly says, you know, after the story read twice now, uh, in order for you to hear a s story, that's of course in the third person, this is a conversation. Heidi says to Klaus, 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 wach auf, wach auf, <laughs> ouch, wake up, wake up, wake up, wacket auf ruft und die Stimme uh, is a Bach chorale. And some of the German that I know comes from uh, when I was in college, I sang in a choir that sang half the time in German, and that helped, although of course it was old-fashioned German. Wach um, auf, wach auf, she says. Klaus says, was ist? He's sleeping. Was ist? Uf, uh, what is? What is? You could say, was ist es? Was ist es? You could say that. Was ist is enough. What is? You don't have to say the it. Oof. Uh, that's that one. It's an interjection. It's like, ah, ooh. Uh, ich bin eingeschlafen. I am in geslept. We would say, I have fallen asleep. And in German, there are two helping verbs. We say, I have sung, I have gone. But in German, they would say, I have sung, I am gone. Uh, this is the verb to be. Uh, so, uh, in this case, uh, uh, it's a mistake that I make, and I imagine a lot of English speakers make. They just want to use hab and have for the helping verb. In uh, geslept. <laughs> in geslept. Fallen asleep. Uh, deine Stimme, your voice, by the Gesichte, uh, 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 by the story, as you told the story, we would say, uh, your voice uh, by the story was like music. So you'd put him to sleep. Such a pretty voice. Heidi. Ich habe große Angst. I have great fear. I am very afraid, we would say in English. Angst has become a, an English word, actually. Pronounced angst. Uh, fear. Dread, because, and that's because so much of psychology and psychiatry, I think, came out of uh, the German language. Während, während du schläfst, during or while. Uh, I should write this in. Uh, during. I, I guess in this case it would be while. Uh, while. Well, it's spelled like this. While you slept. Now this is a verb that. It, it, it mutates in the past tense. Ich schlafe. Now, ich schlafe, I sleep. Yesterday, ich, ich schlief, I, I slept. Um, wenn du, du schliefst, kam der Arzt, came the doctor. I think you have all these words. Er heißt Doktor Heime. <laughs> he uh, is called. One of the first things you learned in German for me was, wie heißt du? How, how call you yourself? Well, he calls, or he goes by the name. We don't exactly have that word in English. Uh, he goes by the name. He, he calls Dr. Holmes. <laughs> now, that's an, impossible, that's an improbable German name. But why I put that in there, I'm, I'm playing with something here, too. Uh, he's a doctor. He's Dr. Holmes. Well, there's a famous character in television named Dr. House uh, in American television, uh, and Dr. House is based on Sherlock Holmes, Holmes with an L in there. So I thought, well, I'll just play with that a little bit. It's in this, in this little play. Und er ist sehr schlau. And he is very smart. Uh, this may be a new word for you. I'm not, I'm not sure. Ha this is Holmes. Uh, uh, and uh, she's going to go on, and in the next video she's going on to say a little bit more, so today there'll be two videos. Let me just read this again. Klaus, Klaus, wach auf, wach auf. Was ist? Uff, ich bin eingeschlafen. Deine Stimme bei der Gesichter war wie Musik. 
Ich habe große Angst, während du schliefst, kam der Arzt. Er heißt Dr. Heimer und er ist sehr schlau. Okay, come back, please. 